Hi friends, this is the second video of the series Learning Git from me. So if you have not gone through my previous video, please go through that where we have learned about two commands. One is the git clone and the git pull. I will also add the URL of the YouTube video for this so that you can have the continuation of the work. Another thing to say to you, we, I will create the playlist of the git so that you can watch the series step by step. Here is the glimpse of the last video which was understanding git clone and the git pull. Now I am also adding this document along with the description of the video so that you can also practice the things step by step. Everything is well documented with the proper steps and in the video we are learning through step by step. So first is git push. Now the question is why this command is very important. The git push is to push the changes from the local to the remote one. Now for example x number of people are working on the same project. Now at the end of the day everyone has did something if they want to push the changes to the central which is called as the remote git repo. Now how to achieve that? Now let's see let's see our remote it has only one file which is git learning git pull and now what does this document says that create a new this is for a demo purpose the real thing varies when you are in a real project now they say is that create a new file in the local repository whose name is learn git push .txt. let us go to the cloned one and see the two files which were present in the remote were also present there now let's create a file which is named as this so touch is a command to create a file bingo the file has been created. Now you can see that learn git push has been created in the local but when you again reflect back this has not been pushed here. The reason is that now we are in the local now we need to push the changes to the remote one. So we can see that what is the step two. Now whenever you have created something it means you are in the working area. It means the file is untracked. It means the file is untested. How would you know that? You will come to know when you get status you will see this particular file in a red color which clearly demonstrates that this file is untracked. It means first of all you need to add the file to make it into a stage area that means to track it. So the first step that we are following is that as directed above use the git add because this particular the demonstration it clearly says that you need to add a command which is called as git add to make the untracked file into a tracked one. Now let's do as per as the documentation and the sync from the git. So they say that do this step git add the name of the file. Let's do that bingo so when we do that uh, yes now let's see what is the git status now one thing you might know that or you see that the red color changes to the green color what does this means it means that this file has been staged one and which we, we can also say that now this file has come into a tracking stage we can also see the green color of the file so which means that the file is in a tracked stage now use the git commit to commit the changes use the message along with the git commit so what you have to do is that you need to apply a command which is called as git commit but with the appropriate message for example we can apply git commit minus m now what should be the message so pushing the file pushing the file what is the name of that file learn git push from local to remote this can be a good name of the message when this is done a mod has been created with some index number which has some integer value now let's go back to the documentation now what happens if again you go to this file oh 
oh my god this file has not been reflected here what is the reason behind that you have not pushed the changes to the origin if you put uh, git push origin and the branch so we are working on a main branch it will ask you for the username you can type either the username or the email id for example i am typing my email id then it will look for the password please fill that So if the password is perfect, oh sorry, I think my password is wrong. Let me see that. Again, I feel that now the password is right. You will see that yes, the writing has been implemented again. When you click on that, yes, this says that this particular person has pushed file from the local to remote. A very valuable appropriate message has also been, you know, uh, has been reflected here, and hence the file has been put. Now, if you see again the Git uh, status, you will see everything is up to date because your local branch and the origin branch, the both the main branches are at the same level. Hope you enjoyed the video of the git push. Now here comes another another command called as a git stash. Now again I have created a one image on that to help you understand about the git stash that is bringing back the work when needed. For example you are working on some project and you have written a bunch of a code but you still think that right now I don't need that but I need them in some specific time then what you do that? You just save that particular task in a stash and then when you need it you can push it back from the stash such like just uh, analogous to it just think about uh, pop and push so this is same thing that we are doing it we are putting something on a clipboard when it is required we are bringing it back so what are the various steps for that the first step is that we need to write whenever we did some work then write git stash save the name of the comment so you can write any name so that when you are retrieving it you can understand that okay this was the name of a comment i have written while saving the work on a clipboard or a stash then after that check the git stash list then whatever the stash number you have uh, when it was saved it will be saving with the stash number you just have to write git stash apply the stash number then what you will see that your work that has been recovered now it has become into untracked stage now you can track the file push the file as discussed in the previous one then what is the next step you can see that stash list has the num the stash has been there in the stash list now what you need to do that you have to apply a statement called as git stash drop so so the basic purpose of dropping the specific stash number is that uh, why to save that again in the stash list so we can empty that clipboard if you want to clear all the stashes you can apply a statement called as a git stash clear now let's do the work practically so first of all what was the first step you you type something in a file for example learn git push dot txt in the local clone repo uh, clone repo and uh, you can type the below code okay now what it says that for example this is for a demo purpose you open any file uh, let me say I am targeting this file uh, first one uh, for example this is a file learn git push txt I write hey sorry for that hey I am learning I am teaching how to use git stash okay just this is a statement I have written so in the real time it can be uh, some code or something else now this is something you have saved in this file means you have saved in this file which is now named as this now what you want is that okay I don't need this right now let me save that it in a clipboard and whenever I require it I will retrieve it and then push it to the remote one what I will do git stash save with a proper command let's again see is this the uh, right command so git stash save so for example you can uh, 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 save with this message saving the line type in this particular file this can be an appropriate message and just type it bingo the has been saved if you again look for that changes in the file uh, you will see that learn git push nothing appears oh where this particular text has gone yes 
if you remember the concept again it has gone to the clipboard now if I say git stash list so list perfect you will see that okay this was a particular uh, you know message I have typed it this is a stash number now you can apply it whenever you needed it so git stash apply and what is the command is git stash apply the number of that so once you did it you see that uh, the stash has been applied and if you again open the file again open the file the same thing appears bingo it has it means the stash has been applied now this file is in untrack stage you can uh, you can add track it and then commit it and then push it to the origin so stash is a very uh, you know useful command uh, when you want to save something in a clipboard and after some changes you want that things to come back and then push it again to the remote one so again now if you see the git stash list one thing is that this stash has been present you want to clear it so git stash drop the stash number for example this is a stash number you want to clear the stash uh, just like we say clearing the clipboard perfect the stash has been cleared now if you say there is nothing on the stash list so if you want to clear all the number of stashes uh, that you have saved in the stash list you can apply git stash clear but for this case since we have only one there is no need to apply that I hope you like this video thanks for the patience to hear this video bye bye